This is definitely a list that you don't want to be in. These are currently the 10 most wanted people in the world, according to the FBI. Each of them have done serious crimes, including but not limited to murder. They're currently at large and have huge bounties on their hands, and if by any chance you have information on any of the people on this list, please contact your local authorities immediately. Especially the guy on number one. Without further ado, here are 10 of the most wanted people in the world. Number 10. Robert Fisher. Officially added to the FBI Most Wanted list in June of 2002, Robert Fisher is wanted by authorities for the alleged 2001 murder of his family wife Mary Fisher, their 10-year-old son Bobby, and their 12-year-old daughter Brittany. And then he blew up their own house in Scottsdale, Arizona before disappearing. On the day of the incident, Brittany was supposed to attend a school ceremony where she was supposed to be inducted into the school's honor society, but she did not make it. Witnesses say that Robert had been acting weirdly the night before the murder. Authorities also believe that Mary was preparing to divorce her husband after she found out he was having an affair. This enraged Robert when he found out, and an argument ensued. Police say Robert shot his wife execute style, then slit both his children's throats. He then set fire to their home that left the three remains unrecognizable. He is still at large with a $100,000 bounty on his head, and is considered armed and dangerous. He should be 59 this year and has been known to have ties in New Mexico and Florida. Number 9. Alexis Flores. Alexis Flores is wanted for the kidnapping, rape, and murder of five-year-old Iriana de Jesus in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 2000. A Honduran inerrant worker, Flores is believed to have lived in the building where the child's body was found, sexually assaulted, strangled, and wrapped in a trash bag. The itinerant homeless man was believed to have disappeared at the same time as the little girl. Flores was actually arrested twice after the murder, first in 2002 for shoplifting and the other in 2005 for forgery in Arizona. He only served 60 days in jail for the latter charge and was subsequently deported back to Honduras. His DNA was only matched to the 2000 crime scene in 2007, by which time he's been out of the country for years. There is currently a $100,000 reward for his capture. Number 8. Jason Derrick Brown Jason Derrick Brown is one of a first-degree murder and armed robbery at a Phoenix movie theater in November of 2004. This is after he allegedly shot an armored guard outside the theater, then ran off with the theater's cash on hand. He then fled to Las Vegas before driving to Orange County, California to stay with relatives. When the FBI carried out an arrest warrant in December 2004, they missed him by two hours. Soon after, Brown became a ghost and went completely off the grid. In January of 2005, authorities tracked down his abandoned vehicle at Portland International Airport. Brown was a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and completed his Mormon mission near Paris, France, and he speaks fluent French. He enjoys being the center of attention and has been known to frequent nightclubs where he enjoys showing off his high-priced vehicles, boats, and other toys. He was added to the FBI Most Wanted list in December of 2007 and they are offering $200,000 for any information that would lead to his capture. Number 7. Yasser Abdel said. An Egyptian resident of the U.S. said is wanted for the murder of his two teenage daughters in Irving, Texas. In 2008, on January 1st, 2008, said lured the girl into his taxi cab under the pretense that he was going to take them out to eat. Prior to the gruesome double murder, the two teenage girls had confided in friends that said it physically and used them. The two daughters, Amina and Sarah, were actually previously able to escape the clutches of their father. They, along with their mom Patricia, ran away to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Before Patricia reluctantly convinced Sarah to return to the girl's abuse of father with her and later convinced Amina to return home from a friend's house where she had been staying. Amina had already made extensive plans to run away with her boyfriend once they had raised enough money. Then on January 1st, Sed took both of his girls into his cab, kissed them, and told them he was taking them out to eat. Patricia initially wanted to come along, but Sed told her he wanted to take them alone. He drove around for a while before shooting both of the girls in the cab. Amina, 18, died instantly, but 17-year-old Sarah managed to call 911. The entire 911 call is out there on the internet, but I suggest don't find it. It's pretty disturbing and very heartbreaking. I say most wanted, but he was just recently captured without incident in Justin, Texas. Number 6. Eugene Palmer Eugene Palmer was added to the FBI's most wanted list on May 29th of 2019 for allegedly 
Palmer dead his daughter-in-law, Tammy Palmer, in September 2012 in Stony Point, New York. Eugene lived next door to Tammy and her husband, his son John. Tammy and John's relationship soured and she filed for a restraining order against John. She threatened to file for a divorce and sue for land which Eugene owned, which caused him to get into a bitter argument with Tammy. Then on the morning of September 24, 2012, Tammy walked her two children to the bus stop. Eugene was believed to be lying in wait in the bushes and as she walked home, Eugene allegedly shot at her from a distance. Eugene then fled in his pickup truck which he abandoned near Harriman State Park in Rockland County. Police called in search dogs which followed Palmer's scent through the park for a while before losing track of it. Authorities never found the body, leading them to believe that he is still alive. Authorities believe he might be hiding in either upstate New York or Florida where he has relatives. He now has a $100,000 bounty on his head. Number 5. Badresh Kumar Chantabal Patel Badresh Kumar Chantabal Patel has been listed in the FBI Most Wanted list only in 2017, but he has been on the run since 2015 when he allegedly killed his wife Palak with a knife inside a Dunkin' Donuts coffee shop in Hanover, Maryland State. There is currently a $100,000 reward for his capture. Patel, who was 24 at that time, allegedly hit his 21-year-old wife in the face with a kitchen knife and stabbed her several times in the back room of the shop where they both worked while customers were still there. He was last known to have taken a taxi from a hotel in New Jersey to a train station in Newark in the state. Investigators believe that Patel is still somewhere in the U.S. and they also think that someone is helping him stay hidden. As for the motive of crime, investigators believe that Palak Patel wanted to return to India as their visas were about to expire a month before the murder, but her husband opposed it. Number 4. Santiago Villaba Maderos Santiago Villaba Maderos is a Washington State gang member charged with two murders in 2010 and has been named to the FBI's 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list with a reward of up to $100,000 that was offered for information leading to his capture. A member of the violent Eastside Lakote Sereno gang, Maderos was involved in a shooting that resulted in the death of a young woman and the serious wounding of her brother, and a month later, yet another murder, this time of a young man. The disturbing thing is, he was a teenager at the time he committed the murder. Then, this last June of 2020, he was finally arrested in Tenancigo, Mexico. He was extradited back to the U.S. to face murder charges which may land him life in prison. I for one hope it goes through. Number 3. Arnaldo Jimenez Authorities are still looking for Arnaldo Jimenez for the alleged stabbing and subsequent death of his wife Estrada Carrera on the morning after their wedding. Obviously, he liked it right after the crime and hasn't been seen since. It is believed that Jimenez and his new wife were having an argument in his car, a Maserati, on the day of the crime. It is also believed that Carrera was stabbed in the car and her lifeless body was dragged up into their apartment in Burbank, California, then placed in the bathtub. Authorities are asking for the public's help and are offering up to a $100,000 reward for information leading to Jimenez's arrest. The FBI believe that Jimenez may have fled to Durango, Mexico, specifically around Santiago Papasquario. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This couple of jailbirds seen in the photo looks like they're going to be behind bars for a long time, but for what crime? Well, we're actually not sure. It could be for something minor, as they don't appear to be on any most wanted list. Either that or they're already in the slammer. But there is actually a couple that is on the FBI most wanted list and is still at large. Well, at least one of them. Number 2. Alejandro Castillo Fugitive Alejandro, Alex Rosales Castillo, is wanted for the 26th murder of Sandy Lee, a former co-worker at a Charlotte Showsman's restaurant and also his ex-girlfriend. Lee's body was found in Cabarrus County Woods on August 17, 2016, and she had been shot in the head at Point Blank Range. Two days before her body was found, her car was found at the bus station in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm beginning to notice a lot of patterns here. There's a lot of crime in my home state. According to the FBI, he was last seen, along with an accomplice, crossing the border from Nogales, Arizona into Mexico just after 9 p.m. on August 16, 2016. The accomplice, and also Castillo's girlfriend, Amia Feaster, turned herself into authorities in Aguas Calientes, Mexico, and was extradited to North Carolina. Feaster, who was 20 years old at the time, was charged with accessory after the fact of murder and other offenses. Casillo, however, is still nowhere to be found and there is a $100,000 reward out for his capture. 
Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Rafael Cairo Quintero. And coming in at number 1 is the most notorious person on this list. He is involved in kidnapping, drug trafficking, and the murder of a DEA special agent in 1985. No wonder there is a $20 million reward for his capture, which is the largest reward currently posted on this list. The FBI calls Rafael Cairo Quintero a godfather of Mexican drug trafficking, and he's known as the Narco of Narcos. The Baru says he helped form the Guadalajara Cartel in the 1970s, which funneled heavy marijuana and cocaine into the U.S. Cairo Quintero was wanted on charges of kidnapping and murder U.S. federal agent Enrique Kiki Camarena in 1985. The ending for this video is going to be a little bit different. If you have any information that could possibly lead to the capture of any of the fugitives mentioned, please under no circumstances should you approach them, but rather call the authorities immediately. Always consider them armed and dangerous. As always though, thank you all for watching, and stay safe out there. Have a good day everybody.